The interior review of the skull, another model. This one, and this is a two. From superior to inferior, this is the frontal bone, two nasal bones, two maxillary bone, or maxillae, two zygomatic bone, or cheek bones, and the mandible. Starting from the nasal bone, this elevated area, which corresponds to the eyebrow of the skin, is the superciliary ridge. Between it, this elevated area in the center, is the labellae. This suture is the frontonasal suture. In the center here is the nasal. This one is the maxillo frontal suture. Here and here. This one is the zygomatico frontal suture between the zygomatic bone and the frontal bone. This area is the zygomatic process of the frontal bone. Here and here. This is the superior orbital margin. This one is the supraorbital foramen or notch here. Nasal bones, we have two nasal bones sutured at the internasal suture here. The maxillary bone, this is the frontal process of the maxillary bone here. Frontal process of the maxillary bone. One, connect together with the nasal bone via the nasomaxillary suture, forming the floor of the orbits, and connect to the zygomatic bone via the zygomatico maxillary suture. This process is the zygomatic process of the maxillary bone, and this one is the frontal process of the maxillary bone. Here, the frontal process of the maxillary bone, zygomatic process of the maxillary bone. This is the infraorbital foramen. The infraorbital groove here and here. And inside the bone, the infraorbital canal. The anterior nasal aperture, the anterior nasal spine, the intermaxillary suture. Inferiorly, the maxilla forming the upper jaw. Each one of these elevations called the alveolar process, and the collection of all these alveolar process form the superior alveolar arch, which carry the teeth inside it, forming the upper jaw. The maxillary bone, this is the frontal process of the maxillary bone, connect with the frontal with the zygomatic process of the frontal bone. This is the suture between the maxilla and the zygomatic. Exactly here, which obvious here, is the zygomatic facial forearm. This is the zygoma, which connects between the temporal and the zygomatic. 